you plan on picking up a Nintendo Switch, you've pre-ordered a console, or you're waiting in line to get one at midnight, but you don't know what else you need to buy. Of course you need some games, of course you need some accessories, but what specific accessories should you pick up? What's up Tech Squad, Andrew Edwards here, Editor-in-Chief at GearLives.com, and today I wanna to tell you about my top five picks for the accessories you need to pick up to go with your Nintendo Switch. Now remember, the Nintendo Switch is both a home console, as you can see there, Behind me, I've got it on a 75 inch 4K display, but it's also an on the go console. So you can lift it out of the dock and take it with you on the go. And because of that fact, there are a few things that you probably need to make owning a Switch even better and more convenient. And by the way, if you're interested in anything I mentioned in this video, I'm gonna leave links to it all down in the description below so you can find it easily so you can pick one up for yourself. And before I jump into my recommendations, I just wanna remind you guys, we do have the big Nintendo Switch giveaway happening right now. We're giving away a Nintendo Switch with a copy of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Here's the best part. We're not just giving you the Nintendo Switch. I mean, this thing's amazing, it's awesome. Retails for 300 bucks, 299, but it doesn't come with any games. And we wanna make sure that if you get the Switch, you have something to play. So in addition to the Switch, Bam, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is gonna be probably the best launch game for the Switch. I don't even know why I'm saying probably. It's a Legend of Zelda game. It's been in development for five years. The Legend of Zelda is my favorite game franchise of all time. And we're gonna throw that into the prize package. So the winner walks away with a brand new Nintendo Switch and a copy of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I will leave a link to the giveaway in the description below and I'll also put a card up here in the video to make it easy for you to find. Now let's kick off the list starting with my first pick, it's the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Now if you're trying to pre-order one of these, I think they're sold out, they're pretty hard to find, but that doesn't mean they won't be in stores on day one. So if you have a Walmart, if you have a Target, a Best Buy, etc., buy you, go ahead and check and pick up the Pro Controller. The Pro Controller is similar to the controllers that you've seen on other consoles, whether it's a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One, or even the Wii U Pro Controller from last generation. It's a more traditional controller than the new Joy-Con, so it's more comfortable to use with more traditional games. It is a little pricey at 70 bucks, but there is a lot of technology packed into it. On the inside, it does have motion controls built in. It has HD rumble, which is that very, very precise rumble that the right Joy-Con has. And it even has an NFC reader built in for Amiibo compatibility. With the purchase of the Pro Controller, you also get a USB-C to USB-A charging cable. And as a side note, I must say, I'm loving how Nintendo's adopted USB-C to the fullest with the Nintendo Switch, both on the console and on the console accessories. Great job, Nintendo. All right, next up on the list, and this one is actually something you might wanna pay attention to, micro SD cards, or at least one large micro SD card. The Nintendo Switch ships with 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, and of that, you only have access to about 26 gigabytes of that out of the box. So the Switch itself takes up six gigabytes of storage right off the bat. That's not a lot of storage to download games, and in fact, there's even some launch games that won't even fit on the storage of the Nintendo Switch. Now, of course, you can just buy cartridges for everything, but if you ever do wanna start downloading, you're gonna want a micro SD card, and luckily the Switch is expandable through micro SD. So here I have two micro SD cards that I picked up from SanDisk. I prefer SanDisk. They're my flash memory storage of choice, whether it's in my camera or in my Switch, but you wanna make sure you get the right one. Now, again, you can see these all have different speeds. This is 128 gigabytes, 80 megabyte per second speed. The next one is 128 gigabytes, 95 megabytes per second speed. What I recommend you go for if you want fast load times is go with the SanDisk Extreme Plus UHS-1 card. That's the 128 gigabytes, 95 megabyte per second speed. If you're on a budget though and you wanna get something cheaper, you can get the SanDisk Ultra Plus. That's also 128 gigabytes, so you get the same storage either way. It's just a little bit slower with its speed. But again, remember the Switch only has about 26 gigabytes of usable storage space. That's not a lot of space. So if you wanna download digital titles or digital goods or apps, you're gonna to wanna to have a good micro SD card in the Switch. And by the way, you insert that micro SD card right under the kickstand. All right, on to the next accessory. The next thing you should buy is Amiibo itself. This right here is the Link Archer Amiibo. 
This is Link from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, if you're curious why you might want something like this, they're not just toys, they're not just collectible figures, they actually work in the games. And this time, Nintendo's actually expanded the way Amiibo work with the Switch. On the Wii U, there was only one NFC touchpoint. It was on the Wii U gamepad, and of course, there was only one of those, so only one player could use it, or you had to share. With the Switch, every right Joy-Con has an NFC touchpoint on it, as does every Switch Pro controller, which is the item I just talked about a minute ago. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is gonna be the biggest launch game for the Switch, and there are at least 10 different Amiibo that'll work with that game to help you through the quest. The Breath of the Wild series itself has five different Amiibo that work with it. There's also the Wolf Link Amiibo that was released a year ago. That works with Breath of the Wild. As do the four 30th anniversary Legend of Zelda Amiibo themselves. So that's Toon Link, Toon Zelda, 8-Bit Link, and Ocarina of Time Link as well. So that's 10 right there, and there may be more, I'm not sure, but at least all 10 of those can help you through your quest, get you different weapons, different items, etc. Up next, a carrying case. Again, the Switch is mobile, it's made to be brought with you, but here's the thing that I don't think many people realize. When you have a smartphone, you usually hold on to that smartphone for one or two years maybe three, but with the Switch, it's probably gonna be something you hang on to for longer than that, five years maybe. So you wanna make sure it's protected because you don't want that screen to get scratched up, you want it to get banged up. The console itself is a tablet. Tablets have sensitive screens if you drop it, etc. So I recommend you pick up a hard shell case. There are a bunch of cases out there made specifically for the Nintendo Switch. Now, the one I picked up is from Hyperkin. The only reason I picked this one is because it's inexpensive and all cases are pretty much the same. It's a hard shell case. It protects the Switch from bumps, scratches, and drops. And it also has internal game and accessory storage as well. So there's a mesh pocket in there for games. There's an accessory flap. And of course, there's console storage too. So I can put the Switch in here. I can put my games in here and I can throw this in my bag without worrying that something's gonna bend the controller or something's gonna scratch the display, which obviously would be pretty horrible. And lastly, again, since the Switch is something meant to be used on the go as well as at home, I recommend an external power bank. Again, since the Switch is mobile, that obviously means there's a battery inside there. Batteries die, especially when you're doing high definition gaming, which is what the Switch does. When you undock it, you're still getting 720p gaming performance. Now, what I found, I only have one game so far. Actually, I just got another game today, but I haven't played it yet. It's just Dance 2017. But when I play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, what I found is I get about three hours and 20 minutes of battery life. After that, the battery's gone. That does fall right in line with what Nintendo said. Depending on the game, you should get between three and six hours of battery life. But if you're on the go, if you're on an airplane or whatever, you don't wanna be worrying about that anxiety of the Switch dying. So get an external power bank and you'll be good to go. The one I recommend picking up is this one from Rav Power. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below just as a reminder. If you wanna go with a different power bank or you have one already that you wanna use, do some research and make sure that it matches up in both amperage and voltage so that it can power the Switch appropriately. There have been reports that some external power banks only trickle charge the switch, and the switch actually does still die even when it's plugged in to these power banks. So make sure the amperage and voltage match up with the switch's power requirements, or just pick up this one that I mentioned from RAV Power. So there you have it, guys. You're about to pick up your switch. I just hooked you up with five things that you probably wanna pick up with your switch in order to make the experience of owning it even better. But now I wanna hear from you. Have you pre-ordered a Nintendo Switch? Have you pre-ordered accessories with it? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you picked up, what you purchased, or if you don't care about the Switch, let me know that as well. I'll meet you down in the comments for further discussion. Again, links to everything I mentioned in this video, you'll find it in the description below. So if there's anything you saw that you wanna pick up for yourself, it'll be easy for you to do so. Don't forget the giveaway that we have going on. We have a huge Nintendo Switch giveaway happening right now. I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well. One winner is gonna win both a Nintendo Switch and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild.
Thanks so much for watching as always, guys. Be sure to click or tap on my face when it appears here at the bottom of the video. That will allow you to subscribe for free to the channel so you stay up to date on any new videos when they get released. And if you wanna be one of the first to know when I drop a new video, especially my upcoming Nintendo Switch review and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild review, click or tap on the bell. That'll make sure you get a notification whenever a new video drops here on my channel. Thanks so much for watching. As always, guys, I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Edwards, and I'll catch you in the next video.